the figuration. The book of Matthew is somewhat the main book where it tells about the coming of Jesus Christ when he first came to earth. Amen? Amen. It tells about the good news of the Bible. It tells about the parables that Jesus taught. It tells about the law. It, it even tells about the parables and other people of the Bible. This gospel presented Jesus as a great teacher who had authority to interpret the law of God. Amen? Amen. Who teaches about the kingdom of God on Mount Simon and his duties and privileges as citizens. It also tells about what he has come to do. This morning, God is willing and able to do anything. This morning, what are you wanting God to do for you? It tells us about the figuration when God, Peter, and John, James went up on the mountain. And it tells about the other disciples, Moses, Elijah. And they were afraid. And they asked God, is it right for us to be here? This morning, we come to God asking for a deliverance. In the book of Matthew, God has did so many things. He did so many miracles. To the point where every last one of us is seeking a blessing from God. This morning, we're asking God to, to transform us. We're asking God to bring about a change in our life. Amen? Asking God to put our feet on a stronger foundation. For we all know that we were born in sin. We all know that we are not perfect. But I'm asking God and I'm praying to God for a transformation in my life. This morning, we are all in need of some type of transfiguring or transformation in our life. We need a new beginning, a new start at something. We're asking God for a blessing or something. And God is able to do this in his word. In Matthew, God worked so many type miracles. He made the blind to see. He raised the dead. He fed thousands of people. Now, my question to you is, if God can do all that, can he do something for you? This morning, we're asking God for a transformation in our life. We're asking God to bring us more closer to him. You see, every day in our lives, there is something that we are in need of from God. We ask God to help us to put more love in our hearts. We ask God to help us to love somebody, help somebody, bring about a transformation in our life. Change us from the old, but bring us to the new. Amen? We're asking God for deliverance and a forgiveness of our sins 
you see, every day we have to repent to God for something. For some reason or another, we're not perfect, but we are created in the image of God. And God can bring about a transformation in your life. That's if you want it. Sometimes you have to change places that you go, people you're around. God can bring about that transformation. He can make a transfiction. God is telling us that through him there's power and he can do all things. All you have to do is have belief in Jesus. Amen? The Gospel of Matthew tells about the miracles, the parables that God has taught people. He told us about his word, which is the word of God. It tells about where the man went out to sow seeds. In other words, what are you sowing in your life? We hear the word when we come to church, but then sometimes when we leave the church, the word falls away from us. But that's where we ask God for strength. That's where we continue to praise God, ask God, Lord, bring about a transformation in my life. You see, every last one of us are in search of something from God. Our children are looking for help in our homework. They are looking for help in their grades. They are also looking for love. Respect from their parents. Amen? This is where you can find a transformation from God. Ask God to be more loving in our life. Help us to be more caring, more understanding. You see, all of us is in need of some type of transformation from God. We can't get it from man, but we can get it from God. Amen? I want you to know this morning that we are all in need. I'm in need. Lord God, I ask you to bring about a change in my home, in my job. Help me to be the man that I'm supposed to be. You see, this is what you have to do. You have to go to God and ask God for help. You have to ask God, Lord, bring about a change in my life. You see, God can change all things. All you got to do is call on him. All you got to do is put him first. God is the one and only. Can nobody else do this but God? You have to believe in your heart that God can bring about a change in your life. But most of all, you must want that change. Amen? You have to turn your life over to the will of God and not to your own understanding. God has all power in his hand. The Bible tells us in Matthew that God is going to leave him and he's going to come back. Whether you want to believe it or not, we are living in the last days. You say, Pastor, what do you mean by the last days? You are facing all kinds of disease. You are seeing all kinds of things happen here in this time. There are all kinds of crimes going on. There are all kinds of things going on, and everybody wants to change. But it comes that time when you have to give your, you have to go to God and ask God for a change. You have to ask God for a transformation or transfiguring. Lord, we ask you that you help us, Lord God, to be a better person, to be more loving, more understanding. You see, you can't do this by yourself. And man sure can't do this for you. You have to ask Jesus, the one and only, who has all power in his hand. What are you in search of this morning? What are you in need of this morning? I'm in need of more love and understanding. I'm in need of more patience. 
I'm needing God to make a transfiguring in my life. Transform me to be in the image of God. Lord, I'm asking you to help me be more understanding, more patient, but most of all, Lord, help me to understand your word more. Lord, help me to do your will. Help me, Lord God, to help somebody to bring about a change in their life. You see, that is what you have to ask God for because you can't do it all by yourself. You have to ask God for help. You have to ask God for understanding. Like God, when he said that voice from heaven, this is my beloved son and whom I am proud of. I am well pleased. That's how I want God to look at me. I want God to be pleased with my work. Amen? You want your, your grades in school to be good and be pleasing to your mother and your father. You see, every one of us are in need of something. Every one of us are in need of a blessing, a transfiguring, a transformation in our lives. You see, you have today, in this world today, you must have love in your heart for your fellow man. This morning, we ask God to help us in our walk. Lord, we ask you to bring about a transformation in our life. Lord, we ask that you just come and touch us from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet. Lord, we ask you that you just have your way in our life. You see, I want God to touch me. I want God to touch you. We want to ask God for a transformation that when we leave this place, that we can have a transformation in our hearts and in our minds that we can take to school, that we can take on our job, and when a person look at us, they'll know that we are a son or daughter of God. Amen? That God plays a very important role in our life. This morning, we need God to touch us. We need God to put more love and peace in our hearts and in our minds. This morning, as we close, what are you in need of, God, this morning? Let us all stand. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord God. We come seeking a blessing. But most of all, Lord, we come seeking strength. Amen.